so here we are at a cut above pet grooming and this is Jennifer who my dogs love and anyway um, Philos and Oliver both get pretty freaked out whenever we come to the groomers but then they're like in like a lion out like a lamb at the end <laughs> so um, Philos is already calmed down. He's getting his nails trimmed. Oh, okay. It's saying I can't, for some reason, this is saying I can't zoom in. Uh, but that's okay. So, and here's Oliver. What? Oh, okay. See now, I have a, a nail cutter at home that I wouldn't even, I would be too afraid that I was, you know. If you're nervous, then they're nervous. Right. Well, and I'm, I'm if you go too far, it they bleed, right? Yep. <laughs> you have to know where, so that's where your expertise comes in and mine doesn't. Yes, the quick will bleed. <laughs> And that's Mackenzie in the background, and she's awesome with washing the dogs. Look at that beautiful dog over there. <laughs> All the dogs, I love dogs, they're so beautiful. And that's, is that something to like? I'm grinding on them. Okay. To get them as short to the quick as I can. Gotcha. And it also makes the nails not sharp. Yeah. So they don't scratch you when. Right, which when has happened before at other places that I've been. So how are you doing? That's why we're that's why we come to see Jennifer. <laughs> and I just do all three, so like there's the shortest I can get, but not bleeding and not sharp, so we don't get Right. If you don't get your dog's toenails done on a regular basis and their nails grow really too long, yeah. they start walking on their nail instead of their feet. Well, that is and happening now with Oliver. That happens. When they do that, they're applying a bunch of pressure on their joints, which can cause arthritis on dogs. That can what? Cause arthritis. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. That, see, I never knew that. And that... Oh, my goodness. I really did wait too long. But I work a couple of jobs, and it's it's a lot. And I know you're, you're so talented. You have, like, so many things going on in your life. <laughs> <laughs> So, see, Philly, it's okay. How long have you had your business? I started it in 2006, but I've been grooming dogs since I was 17. I think you did tell me that. And that was just on your own, like learning how to do it, or did you? My mom is a dog groomer. Oh. So, if you want to get really technical, she started taking me to the grooming shop when I was about 10. Wow. Probably because she didn't want to be for a babysitter. <laughs> well, that's kind of smart, though. <laughs> so, he is now ready to go get a bath. Okay. So, we will put him in the kennel back here. Okay. And as soon as when she gets done washing her, okay. she'll pop in her bath up. Perfect. And then he'll get a bath. Okay. And he'll get his anal glands expressed at the same time. Awesome.